Celebrating high school graduates across the Coachella Valley, this is Salute to the Class of 2020 from News Channel 3. Good evening and welcome to our Salute to the Class of 2020. I'm Jeff Stahl. And I'm Haley Clausen. News Channel 3 is teaming up with Coachella Valley High Schools to honor the seniors who won't have a traditional ceremony this year. Now tonight we're going to be celebrating your accomplishments and congratulating the graduates on the completion of their high school careers. You're going to see student perspectives and inspiring messages for the future. We begin tonight's celebration by saluting the Palm Springs Unified School District. thing that the past four years of high school has taught me is that it doesn't cost anything to be nice to someone. People often tend to underestimate the value of a smile and a simple hello. The value of kindness is something that I will take with me for the rest of my life. The past four years have taught me the importance of self-growth and to appreciate and recognize the opportunities and efforts afforded to us by others and to make the most of every opportunity that we're given. High school has taught me that people come and go, but the lessons that you learn will always be with you for the rest of your life, and I'm so very thankful for that. Throughout my four years in high school, I have learned how to move forward from failure. I have learned how to learn and grow, ultimately allowing me to be a better person every single day. Throughout these four years in high school, I've learned that you should go out there, have some fun, make some memories, and take some risks. that I had learned throughout high school was to be positive, to be motivated, and to also keep a good mindset. And being involved in school because once you're involved in school, you are able to meet new people, hang around with new people, and especially learn new things. lesson I have learned in the past four years is how to value genuine relationships and grow from them to better myself. Life lessons I've learned is that life is always unpredictable and the only thing you can do about it is to adapt and overcome the obstacles life has to throw at you. Also, good things don't come easy and you need to work hard for the things that you really want to achieve in life. I've also learned not to let anyone define who you are or supposed to be or what you want to do with your life. One thing that I learned from high school was to not take things for granted since those four years do pass by in an instant and if, if you blink you'll probably miss it. So just be able to cherish the time that you have there before 
you head out to the real world. The most important life lessons I've learned these past four years have been realizing the value of expanding my social network and gaining the confidence to speak up and take action. As a freshman, I came into high school as a very shy and timid individual, but as I joined more programs and organizations on campus, I was able to collaborate with others, share my own ideas, and work towards achieving a common goal. High school has taught me to become more relaxed when I face challenges, and they can be challenges of any sort. Um, they can be academic, um, they can be physical, and they can be social. High school can be a confusing time and place. I know I can pinpoint times where I wished I would have done things differently, but I can be content in knowing that perfection isn't necessary or even possible. Over my four years in high school, a lesson that I learned is that if you're thinking about it, of whether you should take a risk or not, you should. Because it's when you didn't take a risk where you look back and you think, I should have done it. Or it's when you did take that risk where you look back and say, yeah, I did that. My most valuable school experiences were in academic. They were about people, social skills, respect, self-worth, empathy, and realizing your own potential. On the sports field, I learned about winning and losing graciously. In the classroom, I learned that doing your best counted for far more than academic ability. I'm grateful that in the last four years, I've learned to speak up for myself and be unapologetically myself. I've gained the confidence to acknowledge that I'm allowed to take up space and have a voice. Most importantly, I am at great debt to the amazing educators and staff at my school who have uplifted me, encouraged me, and shown me the importance of community. I definitely feel prepared to take chances and I know that it's okay to make a mistake as long as I'm willing to stand up again. On behalf of the Palm Springs Unified School District Board of Education, I want to express our sincere congratulations to each and every graduate. We know that no one could have anticipated the disruption you have experienced along with the anxiety and uncertainty it created. We understand that many of you are disappointed and frustrated with the cancellation of your final months of high school and the canceled ceremonies, celebrations, and traditions you are going to share with your friends and families. Although they might not be traditional, we know that you are going to find some creative and innovative ways to celebrate your success. As you proceed along your journey, remember to remain confident in the education you received, the lessons you learned, and the experiences you shared. So now, go out and do what younger generations do best. Go out and use your love for each other, your compassion for each other, and your understanding of the greater good. Make the world a better place. We wish you all much success. Impressive kids there, and thank you, Palm Springs Unified Board President John Girardi. Let's hear now from the senior leaders of the Palm Springs Unified Class of 2020. Hi, 
My name is Celia Guinan. I'm the valedictorian at Cathedral City High School. Even though we're all stuck at home, it is still an opportunity for us to try new things and keep in touch with those we love, because that's what's really important. Hello, my name is Angeli Elishjisimo, the senior class president from Cathedral City High School. To the class of 2020, we have made it. Although it is unfortunate that we cannot celebrate in person, we still want to recognize all the hard work you have invested into your high school careers. Your hard work will never go unnoticed, and we are so glad to hear about all the things you've accomplished. We often live fast-paced lives that do not allow us to fully appreciate the moments and the people in our lives. I encourage you to reconnect with those that you have lost touch with, as those relationships are what often bring the most happiness to our lives. To my fellow seniors, do not let this unfortunate situation ruin your happiness. Dear seniors, as this crazy year comes to an end, so does this chapter in our life and moment in history. But throughout these four years, whether it was the best or the worst, it showed us how to grow, mature, and learn throughout the way. So as we prepare to make our own path, don't be afraid to follow your dreams, as crazy as it may seem. My name is Gracie Dennigan. I am a senior at Desert Learning Academy in Palm Springs. The teachers and administration have positively impacted my life, both academically and socially. They have given me opportunities of volunteerism with parents and students. This support will help me in my future life. We have been told all of our lives that we are the future and we will not disappoint. This quarantine might stress us out now, but the stress will not stay. We will be the creators of our own future. And I hope yours is nothing but bright. Hello everyone, my name is Santiago Carapadilla and I am honored to be the valedictorian of the class of 2020 at Palm Springs High School. So as we all know, these have been unprecedented difficult times for everyone. So I would like to thank administration and staff for doing everything they could to ensure we got the best experience as seniors. Also, I would like to invite everyone to stay safe and do their part so we could get back to doing all the activities we love every day. Thank you and I wish everyone the best of luck in this next stage of our lives. Hi everyone, my name is Araceli Flores and I'm the senior class president this year at Palm Springs High School. I'm just here to say thank you to our administration and staff for making this a really good year and also to congratulate my fellow senior classmates from all schools. I know this year didn't end as we planned, but I cannot wait to see what the future has in store for each and every one of you. Hi everybody, my name is Carlos Arias and I am the valedictorian of the Rancho Rosh High School class of 2020. I know we're all sad and disappointed that we can't celebrate our graduation in a traditional fashion like we thought, but I still wish the class of 2020 the best in their future careers. No matter what you do after high school, you all have the potential to be successful in this world. Good afternoon. My name is Jennifer Vidal and I'm a student from Rancho Mirage High School. During these unprecedented times, I'm extremely grateful to be able to have the opportunity to graduate with such strong people. An event like this will forever change an individual and a community, but it only makes us stronger and change our perspective on the things we took for granted. This way, we can only move forward and be more driven to succeed. Springs Unified School District Class of 2020. We salute you, we support you, we recognize your many achievements and accomplishments, and we look forward to seeing the amazing things that you do in this world. To say that this is not the conclusion we'd expected for this class would be quite an understatement. The second half of the last semester of your senior year has been like nothing anyone has ever seen or likely will again. Please know we feel your loss deeply. Most of the important senior moments that you've envisioned throughout your K-12 career were altered and some couldn't happen at all. For that, we are heartbroken and regretful. We know some of you have been personally touched by the COVID-19 virus and its toll on human health, and all of you have been touched by its impact on society and how we live today. We know that the health decisions made at every level have undoubtedly saved human lives, and we also know that you feel the impact of those decisions in ways only you and your peers can fully understand. Here's what I also know. All that you have experienced up until now, coupled with what we are currently experiencing, will propel you to be a class that leaves its positive mark on the world, possibly in more profound ways than the classes that have come before you. You have seen how quickly life changes, how important relationships and connections are, and how those who take care of our lives and our communities are more important than ever. What you will do with your diploma, your interests, your talents, and your motivations is now squarely in your hands. We are all here to help, and we hope you stay in touch and tell us the amazing things the class of 2020 does. We need your creativity, your unique insights, your dreams for our world into the future to guide us 
and make us even better, even stronger. As Eleanor Roosevelt said, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Dream big, take charge of your futures. Good luck to all of you. Congratulations to the students of Palm Springs Unified School District. And as you can see, all of this video has been produced by the schools themselves and students around the Coachella Valley. It is important to us to capture their voices and memories during this life-changing time. Now let's hear from Xavier College Preparatory High School's Class of 2020. If your love was a sunrise, it would never set. Students there at Desert Christian Academy in Bermuda Dunes are also celebrating graduation. Our salute to the class of 2020 continues next with our congratulatory wishes to the students of the Desert Sands Unified School District. We'll be right back. Bienvenidos a Coachella East Harwood. Do you know what sets us apart from the competition? Our business is locally owned. For this reason, we pride ourselves in providing the best customer service. Our staff is ready to assist and guide you in your next project. We provide the best quality in brands, tools, paints, and grills. Free memberships that will help you save even more. Visit our experts at Coachella Ace Hardware, located inside the Food for Less Shopping Center in Coachella. If you're dealing with debt, creditor calls, foreclosure, wage garnishments, or litigation, you do not need that stress. You need an attorney. I'm Jenny Doling. I've helped thousands of people just like you get a second chance. Your health is more important. Hiring an attorney can be intimidating. You need someone who cares, who has integrity and the experience to help. You need me. Life is all about second chances. Call me for a free consultation. 
More Furniture has reopened, and our employees are back to work in your local showrooms. We've taken extra precautions to ensure the safety of our customers with sanitized showrooms, more space to navigate safely, and an open door policy. We've got Memorial Day sale pricing store-wide on all the furniture you've been waiting for, in stock and ready for delivery. Visit morefurniture.com to preview all sale items and our latest updates. Pronova Academy Early College High School, we congratulate the graduating class of 2020. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay Nova strong. A salute to the class of 2020. Congratulations to our Valley Senior Class. Pronova Academy Early College High School, we congratulate the graduating class of 2020. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay Nova strong. A salute to the class of 2020. Congratulations to our Valley Senior Class. Welcome back. We are continuing to salute the class of 2020. Here now are the students of the Desert Sands Unified School District. Over 2,000 kindergartners walked into Desert Sands schools in late summer 2007. Small children with little dreams. Dreams of learning to read, to make friends, and to color inside the lines. We learned about the world. We learned to create, and we learned to think. We made friends and learned to share, to be kind, and to care. Our small dreams grew as our knowledge and experiences expanded. We began to see possibilities and understand that the choices we made would impact our futures. We knew then that learning our alphabet would someday lead us to re read the great works of literature and that learning to count to ten would help us to solve quadratic equations. We played soccer and t-ball and learned about teamwork. We learned that yellow and red make orange and appreciated the visual arts. We stood up on stage in the NPR as our families filled the seats. We added soap and water, creating our first experiment, knowing that science made bubbles. We joined student government, took history classes, and learned the power of the vote. Our world expanded in middle school where we began to know that school spirit could help define us. Already proudly wearing our school colors and cheering when a mascot entered the room, we developed a sense of school ownership. We realized that we are part of more than just our individual families and friends became more important to us. We made choices and learned that there can be consequences. The depth of knowledge in science, math, and literature opened new windows to the world beyond our valley. We began to think of the future and the high school beckoned. Already we knew that we would take our dreams with us. We would play a sport, march with the band, complete academically, and find new ways to become more than that little girl or boy who started kindergarten in what seemed a lifetime ago. While six is a memory, 16 is just inside. We took part-time jobs and volunteered in the community. We learned to drive. The idea of giving back became real, and we explored our options. Would we become future scientists, writers, or lawyers? Would we incorporate the CTE into our future lives, a chef, an auto mechanic, or a farmer, or a pilot? Were we ready to leave the safe haven of a high school family where we felt safe and cared for? Most of us headed to traditional high schools, and some of us took an alternate route. Seven high schools, each with an individual personality a different set of programs and opportunities that have prepared us to meet the vision that is Desert Sands. We leave ready for college, prepared for careers, and ready to face the challenges of life. The disappointment of us leaving high school with a virtual graduation is with us, but we know that it is the experiences we have had, the knowledge we have gained, and the friendships we have developed that are the memories we will hold forever. I am Emma Breidenbach, ASB President and a Palm Desert Aztec. I'm Elena Cochone, Medical Health Academy Partner, and I am a Laquinta Blackhawk. I am Essence Vizzle, student at Horizon School, and I am a Horizon Coyote. I am Mariah Vizzle, student at Horizon School, and I am a Horizon Coyote. I am Mariah Perones, top scholar, and I am an Amistad Eagle. I am Annalise Ortega, Senior Class President, and I am a Shadow Hills Knight. I am Preston Lewis, a student at Summit High School, and I am a Summit Mountain Lion. I am Jade Peredia Salas, Senior Class President, and I am an Indio Raja. It's the Class of 2020, really a look at our future. 
Definitely. Now let's hear from the messages from Desert Sands Unified School District's board president and superintendent. Desert Sands Unified School District embraces nine core values. They are relationships, respect, innovation, inclusion, teamwork, kindness, equity, excellence, and service. We believe that meaningful relationships are vital to success and that trust, open and honest communication build positive relationships. It is the respect given to each member of our educational community that makes us all stronger. It is innovation as a mindset that propels continuous improvement. Inclusion embraces all forms of human differences and abilities in a safe, secure and nurturing climate of high expectations. Together, we are stronger whether this teamwork is in your positive relationships or in your interactions with others. Kindness promotes and inspires a positive culture as well as a healthy community. Equity teaches us that everyone can attain mastery of essential skills given appropriate time and resources. We can only reach our dreams by setting high standards of excellence to help us realize them. We are part of a larger community and your service to others has made this valley a better place to live. Success will be found in many ways, but it will be these values, these beliefs, that will bring you the most satisfaction in life. That is the spirit of Desert Sands, Class of 2020. Class of 2020, it is an honor to join you in your celebration today. On this momentous occasion, I draw upon memories of my grandfather. Grandpa taught me that trees are nature's recording devices. The rings of a tree reveal its age as well as its life experiences. The good seasons as well as the bad seasons are illustrated by rings of varying size and color. Bear with me as I draw a parallel to the human experience, your experience. This situation you are going through right now, this global pandemic, will forever be etched in your memory. Just as trees record their history, so do we. This is, by all accounts, a traumatic season in your life. Like a mighty oak tree searching for water through a drought, you have grown deeper roots, roots that will ground you as you exit high school to college, career, and life. We realize this is not the commencement you and your family had imagined. This is not the celebration any of us had imagined for you. You worked so hard, countless weekends, studying for tests, writing research papers, practicing for game day, rehearsing for the big performance. You persevered. Some of the seasons ahead of you will be blissful and others challenging. You're entering a very different world from the one you expected. It's now more clear than ever. It's a world that needs you. Class of 2020, stand tall, stand strong. Let your branches be symbols of hope, kindness, compassion, innovation, and inspiration for others to see. This unprecedented season in your life has uniquely positioned you to conquer the future. Your generation has something to say. So go out and say it. Lead us into tomorrow. Congratulations, class of 2020, job well done. The life lesson I have learned during my high school experience is to keep pushing yourself. Because every time you push yourself to be better, it takes you one step closer to turning your dreams into a reality. So never give up, because the good things in life don't come easily. In my high school career, I've really learned the value of being proactive and looking for opportunity. and really taking the initiative to become involved and take the next steps that you want to take in life. A life lesson I have learned during my high school experience is have no regrets. Every decision you make is a chance to learn something new from it. Don't live your life thinking, what if? A 
life lesson I've learned during my experience in high school is learning that it is very important to be a hard worker in order for you to be successful in high school and if you want to succeed in something you just got to keep on doing it over and over again and learn from your mistakes. High school has taught me many life lessons. Not only has it taught me courage and strength, but it also taught me character. It changed me as a person, and it made me believe I am more than enough for what awaits me after high school. Be true to who you are, and never forget your worth. The life lesson I learned during my high school experience is that it's not where you start, it's how you end and how you continue to push forward from this moment on. During my high school experience, I learned that it is okay to take time for yourself. With so many classes and extracurriculars, it is really easy to neglect ourselves. I realized the world won't crash and burn if I pause to have fun and take care of my mental sanity for a moment. Throughout the duration of my high school experience, I've learned one life lesson in particular, and that is nothing lasts forever. No matter how long you hold on to said thing, it will go away one day, and we just have to accept that. Within my four years of high school, I've had the opportunity to learn a myriad of lessons, and I believe the most important one is this. In this complex and complicated world full of circumstantial suffering and fortune, we live but a moment. Perhaps when we understand this larger picture, we begin to understand the importance of our smaller one. Let us take care of each other in our shared collage, with the knowledge that each one of us is a unique photograph. A life lesson that I have learned through my high school experience has been to never give up. No matter how hard it may seem at the time, stick to it, accomplish the goal, and move on to the next thing. The best lesson that I can say that I've learned during my four years at Palm Desert High School is to definitely take advantage of every opportunity that comes your way because you never know what experiences will lead you to lifelong friendships or a family that you create in the classroom and it's just these memories that you'll just never be able to forget. A life lesson that I learned through high school is that other opinions do matter. However, your own opinion has to matter the most. Just listen to it. It has been one of the greatest yet most difficult years of my life. I learned that everything is temporary like moments, feelings, and people. From making friends out of strangers and strangers out of friends. So never be afraid to say yes because you'll never know what will come from it. I 
I cherish all the memories I got to made in high school, how much I've grown from a person and how much I became confident through leadership and theater and I decided to do a sport my last year, whether it was later than it, I wish it was, but I finally had the guts to do something outside of my comfort zone. A life lesson I learned during high school is that if you put effort in something, you will get rewarded. Popularity, it's overrated. You know, you just have to stay true to yourself. That's really what people love most about others in high school. It's when people s stick to their morals, not trying to change because they try to fit in. So many awesome memories, Eric. Again, congratulations to all the students of the Desert Sands Unified School District. Now, let's take a look where some of the graduating seniors from Palm Valley School will be attending in the fall. My name is Brennan Nick, and I've made my decision, and I've committed to Stanford University. Hi, my name is Hannah. I will be attending USC, majoring in lifespan health at the gerontology school. I'm super excited because the USC Gerontology School is the top in the world. My name is Charles Schnell and this fall I will be attending Emory University in Atlanta, Georgia. My name is Lawrence Nelson and I will be attending Harvey Mudd College. My name is Claire Jenkins and I'm committed to University of California, Berkeley, which I am very excited about because it's a really great school and has a lot of very cool research opportunities. And yeah, go Bears! <laughs> Congratulations to the class of 2020 at Palm Valley School. Stanford, Berkeley, and many other universities await you with open arms. You are phenomenal. Way to go. Way to go. Our salute to the class of 2020 continues after the break. Our congratulatory wishes to the students of the Coachella Valley Unified School District. Plus, I'm taking a look at what has changed in these students' lifetimes since they began school up to their graduation day. We'll be right back after this. From all of us here at JNS Next, we'd like to congratulate the entire graduating class of 2020 here in the Coachella Valley. A salute to the class of 2020. Congratulations to our Valley senior class. Sleep More Inside More Furniture has reopened. We've taken extra precautions to ensure the safety of our customers with sanitized showrooms, more space to navigate safely, and an open door policy. And during our Memorial Day sale, we've got amazing deals on premium mattresses from Tempur-Pedic, Sealy, and Stearns and & Foster with savings up to $800 on adjustable mattress sets. We'll also give you 84 months interest-free financing. Visit morefurniture.com for more details. When they get injured due to someone else's negligence, people talk to us. When they need help with medical bills, lost income, pain and suffering and more, people talk to us. When they want someone to investigate the facts and fight for what's right, people talk to the experienced personal injury attorneys at Castillo and Associates. It's a free consultation with no obligations. Call today and find out why so many people talk to us. Here at CS Patio Covers, we offer designs that will enhance the look and feel to your home. Our family-owned and operated business has served as the Pond Springs and Coachella Valley with passion and dedication. We do it all, from residential patios to commercial pergolas. Our team of professionals are ready to get your project started today. We offer quick and easy financing. Visit us today online or call us. From all of us here at JNS Next, we'd like to congratulate the entire graduating class of 2020 here in the Coachella Valley. A salute to the class of 2020. Congratulations to our Valley senior class.
welcome back. There is always new news. I mean, 2020 has been filled with a lot of new things. Sometimes it's hard to remember what life was like just years ago. Mm -hmm. Think about how much has changed since you were born. So let's set the scene. It's 2002. Camrys were hitting the roads while Nickelback and Nelly played on the stereo. Nokias were popular and apps wouldn't become a thing for six more years. So we played Snake. Spider-Man was the top grossing movie and would grace the screen seven more times in the years to follow. A lot has happened over the last 18 years. Three presidents have occupied the Oval Office, four governors have led California, and populations have grown globally, nationally, and across the state, with more than 500,000 residents projected in the 2020 census for the Coachella Valley. More schools were constructed, including Desert Mirage, Shadow Hills, and Rancho Mirage. And the number of graduates has grown to over 2,000. Not only does the world around us continue to grow and evolve, so do you. A lot has changed these past 18 years. Imagine the next 18. Yeah, wow, the uh, world certainly has changed so much for those students and for the rest of us. Definitely. Now, let's hear from the Coachella Valley Unified School District. It's comprised of West Shores High School, Coachella Valley High School, Desert Mirage High School, and La Familia. Here now is the superintendent of the Coachella Valley Unified School District, Dr. Maria Gandera, and the students of the class of 2020. I know this is not how we all expected to celebrate your special day, but use this as the life lesson it is. Plans change all the time. How we react to that change demonstrates the kind of person we are. Be the kind of person who helps change the world for the better. And many years from now, when you remember this time, you will remember the strength of character that was born from it. Congratulations, Class of 2020. We are so proud of you. Hi, I'm Mariana Modin, class of 2020. Um, what I wish I would have done before this pandemic that I can't do now because of it is to go out and hang out with my friends and spend more time with them because I know after this pandemic we're all going our separate ways and we really didn't get the time together that we thought we would. So that is definitely something that I would have done before. Although my high school experience wasn't as I expected it to be, I learned to live in the moment and enjoy life to the maximum. Oh, that is awesome. They got to do the walk. I love the way that West Shores made it work with their alternative graduation ceremony this year. Here now is the principal from Coachella Valley High School and the senior class president. We are here today to celebrate your hard work and all of your accomplishments. You were born in the midst of a trying time in our nation and now you are graduating in a time of great sacrifice and need in the world. This moment is all about you. Because of all your hard work and accomplishments over the past 13 years, you have earned the distinction and honor to wear the green and gold with pride. Hello family, friends, faculty, and most importantly, the graduating class. My name is Carlos Hackers and I am your senior class president. I am beyond honored to represent the class of 2020. I would like to take a moment to thank everyone joining us to celebrate a huge milestone in our lives. Thank you to my parents, Carlos and Annabelle, for all the sacrifices you've made all the support you have given me, and for molding me into the person I am today. I think the three biggest lessons I've learned in these long, long four years of high school is that it is what it is, and I shouldn't worry about things I can't control. To always get back up, and I should help myself so I can help others.
name is Dominique Flores, and one of my favorite high school memories was that I managed to really impress a lot of uh, tour guides when we were at an art museum in L.A. Hello, my name is Anneli Suna and I am an Arab. I hope my friends and teachers most remember me by my memorable school spirit. I hope that I am remembered as someone who is a good leader and a supportive and honest friend. After high school, I mostly look forward to new experiences like studying abroad. And I want to thank everybody who supported me in my four-year journey. And to underclassmen, I would love to tell you to take every opportunity that comes your way, be it field trips, volunteer work, anything. Just take it. It'll be worth it. Congratulations as well to Desert Mirage High School. I've had the privilege of spending the last two and a half years with these young ladies and gentlemen. During this time, I've been impressed with their academic commitment, their athletic successes, and their capacity to endure difficult circumstances. This has been an extremely challenging year with the loss of one of our own, the fires, and now this pandemic. You have shown your strength through these difficult times. As you begin the next phase of your lives, Remember to be kind to yourself and others. Welcome and congratulations to the class of 2020. Although the current situation with COVID-19 prohibits large gatherings and in turn, a traditional graduation ceremony, you should all still, nonetheless, be very proud of your accomplishment and the many more to come. Out on the track, I've been known for my jumps and swift leaps over hurdles. They've earned me honorable athletic recognition and even some league titles but the success didn't come easy by any means. Sophomore year at an invitational track meet, I was running my usual race. And just as I was about to jump over my last hurdle, I fell. Quickly, I picked myself up, dusted my knees and finished my race. Today, I sport a one inch scar on my right knee to remind me of an important lesson that I will carry on for life. We have been conditioned to believe that failure is a bad thing and so we put forth our greatest efforts in order to avoid the inevitable. I can assure that as we embark on our new journeys after high school, we will all face repeated failures and rejections one way or another. And I want you to know that that's okay. The human race was not made to be perfect and that's the beauty of it all. We're allowed to fall and then get back up. We're allowed to get lost and then continue exploring. But most importantly, we're allowed to fail and then learn from the experience. So as we each take on our different paths, please remember that your failures do not define who you are. You will be defined by your resilience and willingness to keep moving forward. You are all more than capable of accomplishing all of your goals. But remember, you may stumble and fall before getting there. And that's what? That's okay. Stephanie Campos, I'm from DMHS, and my favorite high school memory was being part of the yearbook because I was able to make a simple moment and turned it into something memorable that everyone could keep. And I also really enjoyed being in the surf club because I caught my first wave and I had my friends there to experience it with me. And I would like to tell my fellow classmates to 
have an optimistic view and we may have not crossed the stage but we made it through difficult moments and that's what matters. Hi everyone, my name is Luis Reyes from Desert Mirage High School. During high school I was involved in several sports and clubs which include cross country, volleyball, puente, mecha and surf club. I honestly have to say that my favorite memory was spending time with my friends as I cherish every single moment I had with them and I wish you guys the best in the future because I know that no matter where you guys are at that you'll do great things in life. What's up Coachella Valley? My name is Ashley Rain. I'm a senior at Desmarange High School. I remember theater and dance being the best highlights of all four years. We got to collaborate with new people and I found it amazing how we were able to just express ourselves. I just want to tell all my fellow underclassmen that I've made it this far and so will you. Once a Ram, always a Ram. Hi, my name is Anastasia Cruz and I am a senior from Dozen Raj High School. My favorite high school memory was being part of the first female team to win a CIF title out here in the desert. And overall, the student athlete experience and everything that comes with it. Hello, my name is Pedro Granados. I'm from Desert Mirage High School and president of DM Pro. Good morning, Rams. What I liked about high school was having the opportunity to be part of an amazing film program. I enjoyed being able to create videos alongside my friends who taught me the importance and value of teamwork. My name is Alia Herrera and I am from Desert Mirage High School class of 2020. My favorite school memory was going to college field trips with my AVE class and my migrant club. The memories on the bus were really nice and funny, and what inspired me for my future goals was to keep doing what I'm doing, because at the end of the day, it's going to be all worth it. Bye! Now a word from La Familia High School's principal and salutatorian. To our graduating class of 2020, congratulations! Robert H. Goddard said, it is difficult to say what is impossible, for the dream of yesterday is the hope of today and the reality of tomorrow. This is a special moment for all of you. You are the toughest seniors of this century. Not everyone can say they've survived a pandemic. All of your hard work, determination, and perseverance has paid off. You have achieved what many have felt was impossible. Congratulations, La Familia High School, Class of 2020. I am Anaí Barragan, Salutorian of La Familia. I would, I would first like to thank my teachers and friends of La Familia for helping me with this journey throughout high school and giving me amazing memories to cherish. Our wonderful principal, Dr. Birch, for being involved with her students and attending all of our school activities that she can. Most importantly, my amazing family that has supported me and been there through my good and bad times. Dear Class of 2020, 
My name is Silvia Paz. It is an honor to represent you on the Coachella Valley Unified Board of Trustees. On behalf of our seven member board, I want to acknowledge your resilience, your ability to adapt and respond to life's challenges and uncertainties. Know this is a trait few people possess and draw on it to strengthen you every step of the way. Carry on, class of 2020. And congratulations to every student in the Coachella Valley Unified School District. Also graduating, the seniors at Nova Academy Early College High School in Coachella. My name is Hela Pineda and it is an honor to be this year's salutatorian at Nova Academy Early College High School. I'd like to congratulate all of the graduates who have worked extremely hard over these past few years. This journey is definitely not easy. This year, I will be graduating valedictorian for the class of 2020 at Nova Academy Early College High School. I want to use this time to thank everybody that has helped me get to where I am today. These past four years have served as a self-discovery journey, pushing me beyond my limits, testing my strength and my focus. I want to remind everybody that this is only a chapter in our lives. There is so much left for us to do. We must continue to be positive, to be strong, and to remain unbreakable, to show that nothing can face us, nothing can get in our way. Watch out world, here comes the class of 2020. From Nova Academy, Early College High School, we congratulate the graduating class of 2020. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay Nova strong. And to the students of Desert Chapel Christian High School in Palm Springs, congratulations. Hello, this is Pastor Frank Marshall. I am the principal of the Desert Chapel Christian High School in Palm Springs. I would like to give a shout out to our graduating senior class of 2020. Congratulations, you did it. This year is not finishing the way any of us wanted or expected, but I want to remind you that God is good all the time. I also would like to remind you, and may you take this with you always, that those who trust in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not get weary. They will walk and not faint. You are strong. Your teachers and I are all very proud of you, and we are convinced of the many great things that are yet to come for you. Thank you to KESQ for the opportunity to showcase our seniors to our community. Now go, Eagles, and soar into your future. God bless you. Nine students are graduating from the Leadership Military Academy in Indio. 35 are graduating from the Comeback Kids program in our area. Here now is a look at last year's ceremony of the Comeback Kids program to honor this year's graduating class. Congratulations to all of the graduates across the Coachella Valley. Unconventional commencements for an unprecedented time mm -hmm. in history. We know that it was heartbreaking to find out that your in-person graduations were canceled. We share in your disappointment and hope this salute reminded all of you the memories, milestones, and achievements you have reached. Thank you for joining us tonight for our special right here on News Channel 3. Class of 2020, you've proven that you are resilient and we salute you and can't wait to see what the future has in store for you. Our coverage doesn't end here. The celebration continues online at KESQ.com. There you can add your senior photos to our digital yearbook. Our hats are off to you, the class of 2020. Have a great night. <laughs>